good afternoon, dear viewers. I'm happy to welcome you on Savoma's channel. This is Alexander Sudorov, as always, and today we are going to talk about the works that are taking place in the Design and Technological Bureau. Now we are in the Administrative and Utility Building. Here, finishing works are in full swing. And specifically now, in this room, you can see already mounted interior panels made of glass. There are panels in some places with wood inserts. It makes us very happy because we are already starting to see the finished look of the finishing and I like what I see. At the same time, the work on installing door frames also continues here and the doors themselves will follow. Also the ventilation lines are getting bigger and bigger. There are already quite large rectangular pipes under the ceiling. If we go into the bathrooms, there are special compartments, sections here, which are also intended for the creation of all these engineering communications. And for the most part, they are already installed. Also now we are already working on the formation of the bathrooms of the administrative and utility building. Tiles have already been selected, sinks, toilets and everything that is necessary. Now we have moved to our main gallery, where there is a temporary warehouse for utilities. We can see that this warehouse is already beginning to thin out. In confirmation of my words, on the execution of works, you can see the following. A sufficiently large number of pipes of rectangular cross-section we see that the middle part is empty. New pieces have been added. And the most important thing that is, in addition to the communications themselves, we can already see the engineering systems, quite powerful systems that take a lot of space. All of this will be assembled in the near future. I hope that we will be able to start working with climate control systems. Actually, I have more things to show you concerning climate control systems, but we will do it when we go outside. We can see that the amount of finishing materials, tiles, glue, rod band, is also increasing. And this once again tells us that the pace of finishing is only going to increase. Also here we can see the laser equipment that came to us from China. We showed it to you in a packed form. Now we have covered it with film before we start assembling it. It may even be placed in its rightful place, but most likely it will be somewhat displaced because there will be special base for metal storage. There will be special racks for metal and for waste. And all this space can be occupied by such complexes. Ideally, we should put two of them here in a row and then we'll be able to increase the productivity of our production capacity for small batch motor setups. Congratulations to us on that. Now we have moved to the individual heat unit. We can already observe its high degree of readiness. We can see that all the pipes have been installed, tightened, pulled. And this structure is already pressurized. At the same time, we can see that the thermal insulation, the so-called fur code, has been installed. Work on the final touches is continuing. Automation cabinets have been installed. All sorts of sensors are distributed around this room, which will also need to be connected to a single control system. And of course, there will be wiring of all of this throughout the building of the Design and Technological Bureau. And now we can say that the building is getting to another new stage of its existence. We are now standing on the third floor. And we can see that part of the floor screen has already been completed. Behind me, you can see how the remaining part of the floor is being poured. The heating and communications are already installed underneath. We can see that the ventilation communications are almost completely installed. So, convenience and comfort for employees who will be located here have already been created. I think that now the guys will show you more footage of how this process is happening.
now moved to the main and only entrance to the site that exists today. We can immediately see that the entire site, where the temporary construction camp was located earlier, has been completely cleared. Now there are still some metal structures left, which will also be removed. We can see that there is no temporary fence, it has been completely dismantled. The slabs have been removed, the metal structures have been removed as well, and now this place is being prepared for the installation of the final type of fence. On the same side, we can see that the installation has already started. The supports have been put up. The work continues at a slightly slower pace than we would like to see, but the weather is playing its role as well. I think that in the near future we will deal with that and the fence will be built right to the extremity of the territory. Well, and some shots of this video were cut for the reason that I did not mention the most important thing. First, of course, the installation of the curb stone continues. And secondly, the most important thing is that our long-awaited puncture, which was previously done, is now being prepared for its closure, backfilling and restoration of the area. Now, because of weather conditions, we had to start pumping out the moisture, because storm water is collected there and all the water gets to the final point of our puncture. But all the necessary measures have already been taken. So we will soon have this area fully restored. Now we have moved to the point of connection of the cold water supply. Here quite a lot of work was done, but we had to make a pause, because the company designer, which is no longer working on our construction site, made a mistake. There was a utility on the way of our builders, which, according to the original plan, should not be there. That is why a big meeting was held, all necessary measures were taken, a plan to bypass these communications was prepared, materials necessary for this purpose were ordered, and we are waiting for them to arrive at our site. As soon as they arrive, the builders will continue their work and move on to the restoration of the landscape. Now we have moved to the back of the building, and we are looking at the climate platform. Construction equipment is working here now, so it will be quite noisy, but we will have to be patient and put up with it. What has been done? We have seen in our previous videos the pipeline that will transport the heat transfer fluid, ethylene glycol in our case. It has been completely installed, waterproofed, backfilled. And now heavy machinery is driving here. At the same time, a platform is being formed to accept asphalt. We have talked about this many times, but now the stage is final. We can see that the curb stone has already been installed, the foam work for its underlaying. And what pleases and encourages me most of all, it is that a big construction meeting was also held, and as a result of it, the work plan for tomorrow was set. And according to this plan, tomorrow the builders should start laying asphalt. So, despite the weather, which made serious adjustments in the speed of works, I hope that tomorrow we'll have asphalt on the right side of the building. I congratulate all of us on that. And I will do it in our next video, I hope so. We have moved to a less noisy part of our site. And this is probably where we will summarize today's video. And it's really quite simple. A lot of work is going on. Tasks are being accomplished. We are moving towards our goal. The weather is not pleasing us and is making its own adjustments. But we have to give it credit. Now winter is close and despite this, this year it starts quite late. Therefore, a lot of what we had to do we have already done and something will still have to be done. So I really hope that, thanks to our joint efforts, we will be able to finish the work with the territory before winter. Go completely inside the building and continue the work there. So thank you for your attention. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your participation. 
subscribe to our social networks and stay informed about everything that is happening in the life of the Solomash project. See you soon!